let's look at the legal implications or the legal uh, import of what Mr. Peter Obia said, his own interpretation of the Supreme Court judgment. He said that it's a loss of confidence and the trust in the Nigerian people as expressed, uh, espoused in the judgment of the Supreme Court. He said that Nigerians were disappointed and there's a loss of confidence and trust. What do you make of that uh, uh, statement? And what is a summary of your own uh, reading of Mr. Obi's uh, point of view? Well, Mr. Obi, Peter Obi is entitled to his opinion of my own view and the view of patriotic Nigerians uh, who understand the workings of the law is that his statement it is a very gross disappointment. Uh, my expectation is that Mr. Peter Obi professes to be a Democrat. And if he professes to be a Democrat, then you should know that uh, there are certain fundamentals of the democratic tradition, which includes respect for the rule of law and the independence and autonomy of the judiciary. When the judiciary has uh, made a final pronouncement, when the APS court, a judge as one of the best in Africa, has considered all sides to an issue and pronounced, as a Democrat, the expectation that one will expect from Mr. Peter Obi is that he should live up to his billing as a Democrat by respecting that final outcome of the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court considered all seven issues is still for this termination by the parties. And then resolve all in favor of President Ebola and Medina. The way the court of law function or the judicial function is quite different from the way uh, the public opinion functions. Also quite different from the Apollo gossip or some other sentimental considerations. The court, the court of law functions on the basis of facts as pleaded, on the basis of facts as proved because of proceedings. Uh, if, uh, all, in all the allegations levied by Interview, the question to ask is which one of them was proved? Did they need evidence to show that there were my practices? Uh, did they need evidence to show that there was identity theft or perjury? These are criminal offenses, and the requirement is that you must establish that beyond all reasonable doubt. All lawyers, including the defense lawyers, know and will agree that the APS court, consisting of some of the best legal minds, some of the best jurists, did justice to that case. They resolved the case and as presented. The law court is not a substitute for a sea public opinion. You have to lead evidence, you have to prove evidence. For the court, an election petition is not something it, it, it is regulated by special rules and procedure. The court is too generous. You must need evidence to prove each of the allegations that you, you make in your petition. And such evidence must be led conclusively, convincingly, with all, all facts established. The truth is that the petition. As uh, what was uh, poorly drafted, there were no, no proof to uh, substantiate some of the, all the allegations made. And the Supreme Court finally came to the right uh, full, uh, conclusion as, uh, by declaring that the petition was not established and that all the seven issues is still for termination were not uh, resolved in favor of President Bola and I think we must make this uh, point very clear that when you file a petition, there are rules that you must comply with in order to be able to succeed. You don't, you don't rely on, uh, on the public opinion to prove those facts. You don't rely on the, the sentiments as expressed in public places 
to prove that. The question is that you must, first of all, read, read facts and prove facts. You must be able to read evidence in proof of your facts. And then both evidence must satisfy the legal requirements to establish whether irregularities, whatever that you want to establish in the election petition must be proof. The expectation of uh, the expectation of the law. I think the point must also be made clear that uh, the the Dubas was conducting a very Korean task. It is not the uh, the Dubas is not a substitute for the opinion of the uh, or the will of the people. Mr. Ashitu, if I may jump in quickly, I, I like to I like to draw your attention to the response of the uh, the, the presidency. Uh, which has released statement today, and they have accused Mr. Peter Obi of casting aspersion on the judiciary. The criticism of the Supreme Court judgment, can it be termed or tagged as an aspersion? Well, every judgment of uh, a court of law uh, can be criticized. But the question is, how do you criticize a judgment of the court of law, such as the Supreme Court? You can only criticize such a judgment on the inverse of justification. I mean, you might be able to show by justification, by sound legal reasoning, that the judgment was not supported by facts and by the law. The question to ask is, you don't cast as questions, on the Judas, particularly the APS course of the land, on the basis of, of unfounded allegation, on the, on the basis of, of unsupported facts. You don't blackmail the judiciary. You don't scandalize the Judas. You don't, because you, you are only portraying yourself as a bad loser. In a contest, there won't be a winner. There must also be a loser, a loser in a contest. As a sportsman, you should be able to accept defeat when you have lost. Mr. Peter became not just no, no second, he kept on. He satisfied with that. He went to the, the president of uh, Appeal Tribunal. He lost. He appealed again to the Supreme Court. He lost. Having lost, I think what is required of him is to come out openly and condemn the winner. That is how a Democrat ought to be here. Well, but let, let, let's. let's let, let's let, let's let, let me come yes, back. Yes, let me come yes, back yes, to yes. some some part of what Mr. Peter B said, and he said that there is a loss of confidence and trust by the Nigerian people in the position of the Supreme Court. Now, if you look at the valedictory speech of Justice Mohammed Datijo, does it lay credence to Mr. B's position about uh, the trust Nigerians have in the? Judiciary, especially the Apex Court. I can tell you for free that by the judgment of the Apex Court, public confidence has been restored in the Apex Court. When you look at the judgments of the Apex Court, which are from the judgment of the Presidential Appeal Tribunal, you will agree with me that that judgment is sound unassailable and is consistent is a restatement of our law so when a judgment has followed legal principles has followed the law how would that lead to loss of confidence in fact i feel very proud of our judges of our, of our supreme court and the majority of members of the profession indeed feel very proud at the outcome as pronounced by the supreme court so mr peter will be with due respect to him it's wrong to pass, but you have to try to substitute or uh, replace himself with public opinion. Who's public opinion? The overwhelming public opinion supports this judgment. The overwhelming public opinion is, is consistent with the view that the election as presented by both Atiku and uh, Peter Obi was uh, a petition, was not proved. I want to explain the Supreme Court to do. When a petition is brought before it and there is no sufficient evidence to establish it. I know you are making reference to his lordship honorable justice that you do. 
Well, the person, the person was, I mean, a concern and express was not in relation to the judgment. He didn't criticize the judgment. He didn't, he didn't fault the judgment in any way. If I could not have even faulted the judgment. What he said was in the way of reform of the administration of justice system generally. And those were really his opinions. And those were admitted when people are, when the judge is retiring from the bench, he makes some observations that was only lead to you know reform of the process. He didn't comment about the outcome of the uh, petition as pronounced by the Supreme Court. He, in fact, he agrees with it. But I think right now, for instance, I agree with you, Mr. Peter Obi, to the extent that oh, there's a need to build a viral opposition. I mean, to the ruling government. That is consistent with the democratic tradition. He can, he can sustain whatever opposition he wants to build. He can mobilize for opposition against the, ruling, uh, the policies of the ruling government. Why? But to, to the extent of condemning the Supreme Court because the outcome did not favor him, does not portray him in my view as a Democrat. A Democrat does not have to be a bad loser. He is saying, he is suggesting to all of us that he's a bad loser. And it is not for Mr. Peter Obi to say this about the judges at all, because he has benefited. He is on record to have benefited in the past. From this same judiciary. If you well, look at it, uh, Mr. Shito, you will imagine that Mr. Peter Obi yes. said in his statement today that they've exhausted all legal means. Isn't that the right thing for a Democrat to do? A Democrat is supposed to exhaust all legal means as he has done and be satisfied with the outcome. What we do in his way? Would he have said he is disappointed in the, in the Judas? The Judas does not have any obligation. So either Mr. Uh, President Tinubu, the former Vice President Atiku, or Mr. Peter, the allegiance of the Judas is to justice. It's to the case as presented by the parties. And let me make it very, very clear. When the Judas is called upon to adjudicate over election dispute, it's a, it's a Herculean task. It is when politicians refuse to be bound by the outcome, they feel agreed, that they come to the Judas. And so when the Judas undertake such a task, they ought to be applauded, they ought to be commended. There's nothing to suggest, all the seven issues that I'm telling you, whether in relation to the status of federal capital territory, let's say the FCT, the citizens of the FCT are special, or other citizens of other states. You can also say that issue of 4G was proof. You can also say that electro, electronic transmission of results is mandatory by virtue of our provisions. And we also know that you cannot need evidence to prove my practices in an election. Two point collection agents, the only such evidence to polling agents who were eyewitnesses. And then when you allege part uh, my practices, you must also you know, plead particular of such my practices. Again, when you fought the Results are declared by INET. Because the presumption under the law is that when results are declared by INET, they are presumed to be authentic. If you don't want to show otherwise, you must leave the women by presenting authentic results of your, of your own as compared. All of this were not done. And then you can now also uh, bring fresh evidence at the level of the Supreme Court. Because we have reality days to, uh, to prove your petition. All right.